Welcome to this demonstration of the automated continuous integration, continuous delivery features in Tibco Business Studio, BPM edition. These features allow you to automatically load, build and generate deployment artifacts for your BPM application and then deploy them into your BPM runtime environment. In order to use these features, you will need to have Docker and Business Studio BPM edition installed in your environment. When installing BPM Studio, you'll need to ensure to include the features for Docker configuration for automated CI CD. After installing the Business Studio automated CI CD features, you will need to build the Docker image that you can use to generate and deploy your BPM application from the command line. Open a command prompt in the Business Studio Tipco Home Docker CI CD folder and build the Docker image as detailed in the README in that folder. Now that the automated CI CD Docker image is built, you can use it to generate the deployment artifacts for all of the BPM Business Studio projects located in a single folder. For example, to generate the deployment artifacts for the XYZ Toys BPM application in a Business Studio workspace, we can use the following command. The location of your BPM application project is mapped to the slash projects folder in the Docker container. Here, I'm using the Business Studio workspace folder. The location of the output folder in your environment, where the deployment artifacts will be placed, is mapped to the slash RAS folder in the Docker container. And then we name the Docker image you just built and the generate RAS command option. Note that you should create the output folder yourself rather than letting the Docker command create it. Otherwise, they may not be created with the appropriate permissions. And here we'll run the command. The command option generate RAS instructs the Docker image to import the project into a new workspace in the Docker container. It will then build them and generate the deployment artifacts. We can see confirmation of this in the command output. And here we see the confirmation. The command output also lists the set of email and REST service shared resources that are required on the BPM runtime environment before the artifacts can be deployed. When the command has successfully completed, the output folder will contain the deployment artifacts in the form of RAS files. You can now use the automated CI CD features to deploy the artifacts that you've generated to your BPM runtime environment. The output folder from the generate RAS command is used as a location of the deployment artifacts you wish to deploy. You use the deploy RAS option and provide the URL and the username and password of a user with BPM administration privileges.
When the command completes, the artifact for your BPM application will be deployed on your BPM runtime environment, ready for testing or for your end users. For more information on the automated CICD feature, see the README text file in the TIPCO Home Docker CICD folder. For those that wish to set up a reliable, repeatable build and deploy pipeline for their BPM application, the automated CICD features contain an example Jenkins pipeline build job. This pipeline build job can be imported onto your Jenkins infrastructure in the usual ways using a Jenkins command line interface or job management plugins. The pipeline job is configured to check out the BPM application projects from the subversion repository, generate the deployment artifacts for them, and then deploy them to our BPM runtime environment. Before you can use the job, you will need to set up a Docker host that contains a Business Studio automated CI-CD Docker image that can be built as detailed earlier in this video. You will also need to configure SSH permissions between your Jenkins host machine and your Docker host machine. The pipeline job has parameters that you can configure to declare the subversion repository location of your BPM application projects, a subversion username and password, the location to store your source projects and deployment artifacts on the Jenkins host. Normally, you would use different folders for different BPM applications. You will also configure the Docker host machine and the Docker user. And finally, you'll configure the URL for your BPM runtime environment and a user that has administration capabilities on the BPM runtime environment. The pipeline script in this job consists of three stages. The first stage checks out the BPM application project from the subversion repository and cleans the deployment artifacts folder. The second stage generates the deployment artifacts using the generate RAS command in the Business Studio automated CICD Docker image previously built on the Docker host. The third stage deploys the artifacts to the configured BPM runtime environment using the deploy RAS command in the Business Studio automated CI-CD Docker image previously built on the Docker host. There is also a placeholder stage for you to create the email and REST service shared resource definitions required on the BPM runtime environment before deploying the application. See the comments here for more details. When you have completed the job configuration, you can build it with these default parameters. Here, we can see the three stages of the pipeline being executed in a simple, reliable, and repeatable way. And here we can see that the BPM application projects have been deployed to the BPM runtime environment by the BPM deploy pipeline job.
and the process can be repeated manually or using repository commit triggers if required. For more information related to the sample build and deploy pipeline Jenkins job, see the README text file in the sample pipeline folder in Studio's TIPCO home folder. Thank you for viewing this demonstration. Thank you.